now. You're sure there's no caffeine in this, right? My fiance's pregnant. It's an herbal tea latte. Pregnant women come in for them all the time. Really? All right. Well, I'll have to bring this home to Vienna. I'll show her how much I care. <laughs> how very sweet. Barbara, hi. Hello. Don't you think you should take that to your fiance before all that lovely foam goes flat? How are you? Oh, I'm just ducky. Oh, by the way, I saw Vienna and Casey outside having a rather heated discussion. Really? What's that about? I have no clue, but she didn't even make an old crone crack as I walked by. I am so sorry for the way that she behaved at the christening. You've already apologized for her behavior. It deserves to be said again, and it, it couldn't be further from the truth. Barbara, you are beautiful and funny and, 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 and vibrant. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's okay. It didn't bother me. It didn't? No, because I always consider the source. It got to you. I saw your face. She hijacked my granddaughter's christening to make it all about her. And we both know why. Because she wanted to throw your relationship into my old pathetic face. Her words, not mine. She did not say that. She didn't have to. I just can't believe you haven't seen through her machinations yet. Well, I, I took your side, didn't I? Know I know that. It was very chivalrous of you. I really thank you for that. But you don't have to take care of me. I am not helpless. But you, on the other hand... You're being marched down the aisle like some bewildered bull with a gold ring through his nose. What exactly are you trying to tell me? You have horns, Henry. Use them. Be a man. I I am a man. I'm a man. I'm going to be a father. I'm, I'm going to be a husband. Good. You be a husband. And you know what? If you want Vienna, you can have Vienna. But you can't have us both. I know. Good. So let me go. Whatever this is, it's just not working. And Vienna is going to get suspicious. And I don't think you want her to know about us. It's too late. She already does. Who told her? I did. What exactly did you tell Vienna about me? I told her that I cared about you in that way what are you in high school this isn't easy for me good i told her i had feelings for you romantic feelings why because it's the truth barbara she was suspicious anyway and i was tired of lying about it how unlike you tell me about it you want to know something else what I'm not sorry I told her. It doesn't change anything, does it? You and Vienna are still getting married? Oh, honey. Honey, what's the matter? I know. You want your teddy? You, oh, big yawn. Big yawn, you want your teddy? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. She's kind of just getting used to me again. I haven't spent a lot of time with her lately. See what you can do. Sure. Well, hello, Miss Eliza. How are you doing, Princess? <laughs> yeah, it's just your kingdom, isn't it? We're all just living in it. <laughs> want some of this? You give it to me? Why don't you all want to do it? Go ahead. You're really good with her. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of practice. Audrey wasn't really around, and I have sort of brushed up on my skills with Jacob. You're going to be a wonderful father. Well, I'm uh, going to be a lot better than mine was, I hope. The stand-in or the real thing. Well, your child is going to have a much more stable life than this little angel, that's for sure. Why? What, what's going on? After you left the christening, Meg had a complete meltdown. She was railing at Emily, calling her the devil. What? I, all of a sudden? All of a sudden. It was very strange. I mean, she'd been this proud, beaming mother, and then the next thing you knew, it was like she was possessed. I, how's she doing now? She's in the hospital. Oh. And I have to tell you, even out of her mind, I would much prefer Meg as a daughter-in-law than Emily Stewart. Well, you, do me a favor. Don't start drugging Emily's tea again. I mean, if it didn't get Paul to dump her the first time, it's not going to work now. <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh, my. You know what? 
You're a genius, Sam. 